Hello, this is Everett Pierce, and this is January the 27th, 2017, and Tucker Carlson is on, and I have about 7.30. Now, this is part two, and I'll make this fairly quick, and just because there's been a lot of talk of it, talk about refugees, and how I can use the example of the body to explain, we hold these truths to be self-evident, as to why I hold to certain principles of things. Refugee that we are seeing and is going out into other nations. Think of it as your bowels and your digestive system, which is roughly 16 feet. Is If your bowels were to bust open and the fecal matter were to say that symbolism of, of refugees, would you want that fecal matter to go into inside your cavity of your body? Absolutely not. So just that concept there would say the last on that list that you want to see happen is refugee. Meaning take other measures before that is even considered. Because if you're all out of options and then then you have no choice but that has to happen. Because when you're trying to locate thousands and thousands of people, just like an example, if your blood is out of your vessel and you have an aneurysm, you can die. Okay? And the reason why I know in terms of refugees is the system of refugee is out of its hierarchy. I mean, people, other worlds out there have used this refugee as a means to destroy nations. They create a situation, people flee, and, and, a, lot, and, and a good, it, it don't have to be a lot of people. We just say, if, say out of a thousand people, 100 of those people is their soldiers. And they get in place, and you get no one. Before you know it, they destroy you. You know, it's like, uh, like the movie Troy, where they give them a gift, and it was this big horse, and they climb out of this horse, and they kill them overnight. Well, that's... It's, something similar to that so that's why refugee is your last option you have to figure out why are they fleeing now it's one thing that say there's a nuclear you know exposure and if they stay there they're going to die so that's one thing but if they're fleeing because if there's there's war or there's fighting going on then someone needs to step in and, and stop it so they can stay in their own country and then you put things in there so they can be conducive for, for they can develop their country and not have to look over their shoulder and worry about being killed or, or tortured or raped or whatever. But I can tell you one thing. If you're looking for trouble, is to take in a bunch of refugees. And then you'll find out how quickly whatever nation out there can hand you your ass. And I, I say this of certainty of certainty of certainty. I've seen nations in the billions, more, far more that's here, out of a very few that were acting like the seven pound foot and literally handed a nation in the hundreds of billions and killed them in a real short amount of time because they learned how to be a awesome seven pound foot and they used this refugee thing. Because they plan on their emotions. Oh, of humanity. Well, it's not saying don't be humane. Don't love one another. Don't love thy brother and sister. That's why we have certain protocol things. Just in your human body. Why you have your intestines. And why your lungs in certain locations. If I was to say, oh, you know, say refugee in symbolism, parable. If I take my lung and I take it out and I move it on this side. Well, where's my heart going to go? My heart has to push this way, even though it's meant to be this way. So when you start moving things around, you cause a you know a change in the polarity of energy of many things. So that's why when you have a a wave of refugees, that's when it's like I've seen a lot of it. You know, pardon the expression. If it's like when the time to become tense, when you have that kind of people fleeing. Because if you don't handle it right, it will hand you your ass. And it's not that we don't love people. 
or care for people. Now you have to find out why are they fleeing? And is this a deliberate plan for them to do that? Because the ones that are trying to take you down is within the, those refugees. So, you know, the United States is a very powerful nation. We have some we we have some untapped resources. Three hundred million untapped resources. Can you imagine how and how far I can get you to develop you and take that spiritual amnesia away and you discover all your skill sets and we 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 develop it and you fine tune it? You know, you're not here because of an accident. You were here because you wanted to be here and you have proven yourself to be worthy to be here. So at what point do you just kind of let go and let God, I mean, we hold these truths to be self-evident. We hold, let go, old evolutionary ideas and hold new ones. That's the reason why we use those particular words. We hold. Because eventually you're going to set it down and you're going to pick up something newer better so in terms of that of this part two of human of knowledge then explains if you just use your human anatomy Ben Carson knows this quite well he's a well-established surgeon and if anyone if you don't believe me talk to Ben Carson and the things that he knows of the human body he can relate it to our government. He can relate it to our voters. He can relate it to the governor and the structure of things building up of what he knows of the human body. So if you don't, or DNA. So if you don't want to take it from me, some people, they listen to me and it's like, they just shut me off right off the bat, you know, because they're fearful or whatever. Listen to Ben Carson. He's been in it for decades well-established, well-respected. So, we'll end it there for this part two. But this topic of human, of knowledge, or human anatomy, and male and female, different shades, you know, of the adaptation to environmentals. So, we can go on, like, the library of this is huge on the seventh heaven. I mean, it's huge. It means the knowledge in which I have expanded and correct, contracted out of it and what I'm supposed to know of it. Now, you guys are still developing. You're still learning. But how else are you going to keep reaching higher levels of evolution unless you put certain things to the side and join up in unity and a general goal of things? A goal. G-O-A-L. You set things out what you want to accomplish in this lifetime or any other lifetime after this. I've lived many lifetimes. You know, Jesus, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Albert Einstein, and many more. But that's not, that's not primary, it's not the most important thing. It's important for me because it tells me where I left off and where I need to pick up in terms of reincarnation. Now, as far as going out and say, I am Albert Einstein. A lot of people have been lead to believe that reincarnation doesn't exist. So it's kind of wasted effort on my part, but it tells me where to pick up in terms of what I'm working on, what I want to develop or research. So that's what, you know, uh, reincarnation I, you know, if, if there's anything, I want to back you up in that corner where you have one statement, one statement only. Is how could he not be that person? How could he not, you know, how could re reincarnation not exist? When you have this kind of knowledge and know-how and experience, you don't accomplish that in one lifetime. You just don't. It's impossible. It's, in, I mean, as far as what I hit it at, if it was if it wasn't if it was possible why do we not have people here way up here way i mean like 50, 50 ways to sunday beyond albert einstein which was my life and you guys are still stuck on my statements 
and and just oh my god theory of relativity oh that's just just awesome you're supposed to expand and contract that you were supposed to run with it and then the feedback off of that was going to give you more evidence R rationale and reasoning is like holy cow boy did we open up a box I don't see any of that out there so it's kind of disappointing actually as I, g I gave you something to chew on and you set it up on the shelf and didn't even touch it other than to think about it so anyway that's a different video on top on top of itself but that itself will help you resolve this refugee thing if you want to be about extinction you want to die and if you put hierarchy refugee to the forefront then start getting used to bending over and kissing your ass because that's how many nations have been destroyed out there and they're far greater than seven billion people and if they're able to kill a nation couple hundred billion you'll be easy that's why we have certain things in place that's why certain things of the human body until we evolve we hold to certain principles we hold these truths so when that truth becomes outdated and something else you know evolution overlaps and that's far superior and you've seen it all directions you say well it's like retiring the stone wheel to bring in the wagon wheel retiring the wagon wheel to bring in the rubber tire that's what I'm talking about or from the LP to the to the tape or to the 8 track to the tape to the CD and the MP3 so that those are that's what I mean of holding and let go you know let go and let God is to why, why why don't be so secure in the things that you do because next year you're going to learn something that will totally snitch it out and you're like why why am I doing that why am I thinking like this that's part of the evolutionary process so you can understand different le all levels of evolution so hopefully that has clarified a little bit about refugees it's not that we don't love other nations and other people you know it's one thing that you have to get out of your nation because say there's a huge sinkhole and there's nowhere to live okay that's different than war breaking out is because some of these people that is done deliberately in terms of warfare to evacuate them and then they put their people amongst them you don't know who's who and that's why Donald Trump from the very beginning of this is we have to vet these people we have to have our borders and we have certain things and you say well you're being discriminatory no it's called I like being alive I don't want put extinction on my resume neither do I in fact you can't put me in that because I've developed myself where extinction according to me it is so small it's like I'm Mike Tyson and it's a little infant but you guys on the other hand haven't reached that level yet and I don't want you to reach that level where extinction now is the winner of you you know you're about forever life and we have less than one percent here we have other people out there stuck in their evolution and that's why I put my investment in you so we all can get together seven billion people and we can come to them and hand them not just the illusion of hope and faith give them their true sense of hope and faith so with that we'll end it right there this will conclude part two of human of knowledge Thank you for your time and Godspeed.